So, Soph's like sprained or broken her ankle. It's broken. It changes everything. We don't know exactly what we're gonna do. So, we've got some bad news. I've signed a consent form to have surgery. I'm stress eating dry pasta. How are you feeling? We just got a call to say that they're gonna try and get me done today. The machines are gonna be beeping, I'm gonna die. It's and happening. Simon's like, shut up, bitch, you're not gonna die. I have a lot of screws in my foot. I can't believe this happened. This is Slim. Three knots on the face, Skipper! I'm Soph, the Skipper. Oh, and we have a fluffy crew member too, Chili. We live aboard our 1989 Duncanson 34. She may be vintage, but her glory days are far from over. Yeah! We're taking her around Australia, exploring our beautiful Aussie backyard. We put new videos out every Monday, so subscribe. Come along with us. Alright, so Soph's just gone back up to the hospital. Yes, I'm still here. We think she was just getting her cast taken off and they were going to put a full cast on. Pretty busy at the moment. And we we're just like, look, you just go up and it'll be fine. And now I'm feeling really guilty because she's just been told she might need surgery. Now I'm feeling really guilty for not being there. Just trying to wanted to get the boat in order and a little bit of study done while she was out because we actually have to take photos of everything on the boat this week too because everything happens at once. Our insurers just told us that they no longer wish to insure us so we need to get a new one and they all want the boat to come out of the water for a survey. That's not going to happen for us right now so we're trying to find some companies that will let us get just some photos done. So I'm trying to prep the boat for that this morning. Soaps up at the hospital, thought she was getting a new cast, maybe she's getting surgery. Ah! What the hell? Somewhere in between that too, we're meant to be studying for exams. <laughs> I think I need surgery. Slim. Why'd you let me come here alone? I'm back from the hospital looking absolutely bullshit as usual. Uh, I got a new cast on, if you didn't tell. <laughs> if you could tell. Nimbus 2000. So we've got some, I don't know if it's bad news or if it's going to be in the end good. I've signed a consent form to have surgery. Basically, they're just waiting for the swelling to, to go down because it's still, like, it's huge. How long has it been since you did it now? How long have we been here? I think last Wednesday. It's now Tuesday, so almost a week now. Almost a week since I did it. Um, the swelling's still definitely there. We're waiting for the swelling to go down. Where am I going with this? Anyway, I've got an appointment on Friday, and they're going to see if the swelling's okay, and if they can operate, then they're going to shove me in an operating room and give me some screws to go about my life with. You get to keep the screws when you're done, eh? Yeah, I get to They're keep yours. the screws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bonus yeah, yeah. screws. If we ever need some stainless screws on Nakama, we'll just <laughs> carry a couple spares now. Yeah. So yeah, that's fun. That's pretty good. It's basically my new life now. Hmm, ramen lunch. Guys, if you got to slim around, just always break your foot. They'll come rushing to help you. I'm stress eating dry pasta. You get the fun of snapping it and the fun of chewing it. It always makes Chili hungry because she can hear me crunching and she thinks it's her biscuits. Stupid cat. I haven't tried it since I was a kid. What? Dried pasta as an adult. Here we go. Not the greatest. It's not the greatest. Let's just say that. There's no cuisine. Alright, we're going to the hospital today to see if I'm, I don't know if I'm going to go into for surgery or if I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, it's sort of one of those things that they're going <laughs> to decide on the spot. So um, we're sort of preparing to go in for surgery, but I mean, there could be a possibility that I don't. Oh, and because she did that, yeah. Oh, that's not good. How many is this, sir? Cast number three. Cast number three? Yeah, no surgery today. No. Yeah, you better move your hand. I don't think Sophie wants to go into theatre with your hand still attached. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Fucked. Alright, yes. No surgery today. Basically, I'm on the waiting list. Doctor approved my foot. 
said it was all good to go. They just don't have any space in theatre today and ankles get pushed down to the bottom of the list, <laughs> understandably, because there's people bleeding out and shit and my ankle can hold on for a little bit longer. But yeah, Simon's very stressed because he's got exams. Uh, I've managed to submit two of my assignments. I've just got one more to do. But Simon's got a big exam on Tuesday that he's really struggled to squeeze in study time between all this drama. So his head's about to explode. Morale is not probably at his highest on Nakama at the moment. It's all a bit meh, 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 meh. 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 Chili. 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 What's this, Chili? You can't smack it. Get out of it? No, get you the winds out of it. Chili! What are you doing over there? That's not your boat or dinghy. Chili! <laughs> Chili! <laughs> disgracing yourself. No, no, she's getting comfy. Alrighty, so we just got a call to say that they're gonna try and get me done today. So we're just getting ready to go in and freaking out. So it's not allowed to eat or drink anything anymore, but I'm gonna have some eggs. So we've got a lend of a car from someone in the marina who's been an absolute legend. So we're gonna drive in there, which will be handy because we've spent that much money on cabs to and from the um, hospital this week, honestly. Oh, my crutches. Silver Stallions here. And I'm taking her to West Abing. I'm helping it. I thought I'd make it like a Disney musical. Just make like, our whole lives into a Disney musical. Like surgical room, they're gonna cut you up soon. Stab you with the knife. In the Monday delight. Oh. Monday madness, stabbing again. Gonna yeah. put some screws in and she'll be walking, my friend. Ha 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 ha. Yeah? Something like that? Good, yeah. But we've been watching lots of Doctor. We've been watching The Good Doctor lately. Before this happened. Yeah. It's probably a really bad time. No, that's the thing. You've been watching all it. these elaborate... I've been watching, like, crazy. hectic surgery, like, shows, like, drama, you know. The, the the heart machine's like beeping because someone's flatlining. It's just like chaos and I'm like, it's going to be me. It's going to be me. The machines are going to be beeping. I'm going to die. It's and gone. Simon's like, shut up, bitch. You're not going to die. Ah! I'm driving a strange car and I don't know where we are. Oh, no, no. Hey, we're on our way. Going to see some surgeons today. Here's just a little bit about how Soph's thing of just not wanting to inconvenience anyone, no matter what, she's like, doesn't think, even when she didn't want to come to the hospital, because she's like, I don't know, it's probably not broken. I'm getting her out of the car at the patient's drop-off so I could go find a car park. She's like, quick, 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 there's someone behind us. No, we can't park here, I'll just walk. I'm like, you're at a hospital on crutches, going in for surgery, and you, you still don't feel worthy of using the patient's drop-off area. So... I don't know, she's a kind-hearted individual. Anyway, gotta go. Alright, so I've just checked in. Now we're gonna go down the hallway. So if name's being called as soon as we rocked up, basically. And I got told that I wasn't meant to go in with her, so I don't know where she is. I'm sure that's probably freaked Soph out, because the whole point of me being here is because she gets freaked out. Yeah. Bye. See you later. This is the last you'll ever see of me. Love you. Good night. You'll be right. <laughs> it's been like two hours. This is probably the longest time I've spent apart from Sophie in two years. <laughs> Had some celery and peanut butter. I'll keep waiting. Sophie just keeps having appointments and I just keep sitting here in waiting rooms. It's quite a good little arrangement we've got. It's been like four hours now, so yeah, I don't know what to think about that. Obviously, it's probably all good, but 
I just don't know if she's like moved through to another area. I'm not allowed in yet or whatever. But I'll be told when I'm told, I guess. How is your sandwich? So it's out. It's a cheese sandwich. Oh, I feel so bad. So if it's gonna stay the night. I have to stay the night. You didn't have to, you have to. What? Yeah. I have to stay the night. And I can't stay here, unfortunately. Simon's got an exam in the morning. I'll have to come and get you after that. Which sucks, I'm so that's so crap that you have to... Anyway, whatever, you'll be right, you'll be so drugged up. But I'm so sorry, I can't. I have a lot of screws in my foot. But you're doing really good. You're doing really good. They asked me what type of music they wanted in the thing. The boys. I asked for Torah. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Did they play it? That's so nice. Yeah. That'll make them happy. Yeah. They played tour for you. So good. It made me feel at home. Yeah. Mm. Matt made you a sandwich? Matt made me some sandwiches. So nice of that. Mmm. I'll turn this off. <laughs> oh, and Bruce is still there? Still good? Good job, Brody. You guys are staying with me tonight to keep me company. <sighs> super grateful for spending the night here and the staff here have been so nice they've given me lots of good painkillers and yes good company so yeah i'm also in the maternity ward so there was um a couple of screaming babies last night also ugh, i can't wait to get this thing out of me it's, it's gross it's really I can't even look at that hand. <laughs> look who the cat dragged out of the... <laughs> out of the boat. Out of the boat. Well, it looks like I need a shower. We've actually got an Airbnb, I think, to go to. So we're gonna go do that. This morning I took two endurance and I felt really good. Pack it away in my paper bag. Pack it away. Oh, that's the worst bit. That's good. Yeah, you've got two of these things here. That's it. We're done. Perfect. Done. That might be sore for a few days because sometimes they are. Oh, okay, so we've, we've teleported to an Airbnb. We've just ordered pizza because we thought we deserve it. You do deserve it. <laughs> How crazy is this though? So, of course, we're going through Domino's because we don't have any money and Domino's is like the cheapest pizza around. But look at their website. They now oh, show the photos yeah. of your pizza coming out. Like these are our pizzas and they're, they're quality approved. Like who's taking these photos of the pizza and uploading them to the internet? The robot. <laughs> For us to see, what? And why do we want to see our pizzas before it's here? This is a pretty fun experience for us. It's Domino's. always so fun order for us to order Domino's. We grew up in the country and we didn't have any like fast food restaurants around us. We didn't have like Maccas or anything. So like when we're in the city or somewhere that has Domino's, we're like little kids on the internet like, oh, should we get yeah. takeaway pizza tonight? Oh my God, oh my God. And, and we're like sitting around we're like, oh, this is so fun. Yeah, it's fun. And then even getting it delivered because like that just doesn't happen in the bar and shire. We can't get delivered things. Anyway. Look at this TV. It's about the size of our old living room. I guess first thing to show you, if you haven't already noticed, we have Separate beds, look how neat and tidy my area is. <laughs> TV, about the size of the car. You can go like this with it. Yeah, Lit so the TV is literally like the size of the living room in the car. And what else cool is there? We have a shower, don't have one of them in a while. That's the main reason we came here. Look at this. That's so solid, the best chair. There's a stag one in there, very boring day, we love that. Very close. That was epic. 
excellent timing. Dude. Garlic bread for you, madam. But you know how they do the the silver bowl? They gotta lean in so like, just so you know, I've got a detail. <laughs> <laughs> and then look away. The reveal? I'm not even looking at it. I've seen this shit before. <laughs> anyway, there's your pizza. No! <laughs> Oops. I'm watching my favourite show of all hatred. <laughs> I just hopped around the Airbnb trying to get those shots for you, so I really hope you appreciated those. <laughs> I've been taking painkillers and I've been sitting in bed with my foot up watching Netflix on the big TV. Simon's got another exam tomorrow, he's studying, and I have a bit of broken plaster that is finding its way down to my heel. I've at least now pushed it to the side so I'm not feeling on the bottom of my foot. Is this really gross? Can I say something? Hi. <laughs> my ankle's feeling a bit better today. I was think I was like literally ready to get an ax out and chop off my foot yesterday because it was causing me so much trouble. It was horrible. Today, I don't feel like that aggressive towards my foot. We're living a bit more harmoniously together today. Yeah, I have taken a lot of painkillers, what of it? No, I'm okay. You've taken a lot of painkillers. <laughs> this is Soph's fancy new Sharps container. I wanted to get her something nice, because she's going to have to be giving herself needles every day for her six weeks. Alright, what leg? You're doing it this time. I'm not doing it. These are the injections. They come in boxes. No, no, I don't. I have to make sure you bunch up my leg. You're tensing. Huh. Stop. <laughs> It'll be so chill. Just look away. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> oh, yours, babe. Don't do this to me, please. Just do it and it's done. Just go. One. Go. Go. <laughs> Come on. We had to turn the camera off because it was too scary. That took ages. Second one down. You only have to do that. And it was six times seven. 14 is two, 30. Sixty two more times. Is that right? No, that's not right. Damn it. <laughs> Times seven. I don't know what sometimes tables are. Seven Thirty-six. Sometimes six. Thirty-six. Right. I just made that up. <laughs> that just sounded good. Six times seven is forty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> Ever say this? All the teachers lied to you when they said, you know, you don't have a calculator in your pocket. Well, look, shut up. All right, so six times. <laughs> wait, why six? So six weeks times seven days is forty-two minus two. Only forty to go. We only have to do that forty more times. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> so much better. <laughs> All right, um, so now we, we know that I'm terrified of needles. I feel uncomfortable when a nurse is doing it, and I, but I let them do it because obviously it's their job, they're qualified. Simon is not qualified for giving needles. That was terrifying. It was fine in the end. I'm just not used to it. I'm just not used to it. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I don't know. Guys, if you've made it this far, what the actual f***? As you can see, we're gonna to have to head back to the drawing board of plans. Uh, we don't actually have one yet, but hopefully by next week we will. We'll see you then.